Playing it forward, love rather than hate. Um, or paying it forward, <laughs> Um This is more about the channels, forums, whatever. Whatever you engage in in your spare time. Um, the hate side of it, I just want to talk about the fact that there is no benefit in it. A lot of the time, the people that are trolling, whatever, they make a full-time hobby of it. Or if they're really sad, they make a full-time life of it, which some do. Um, but at the same time, you don't need to sink to their level. Um, trying to put some common sense and stuff into it is a waste of time. Um, I've had a few conversations about this stuff before. Well, why don't you defend yourself like that? Because what's the point? People who know me know me. People know what I do, what I've done, whatever. They, I don't need to justify myself to uh, A, people that don't know me, and B, trolls that just make stuff up. Because it's a continuous cycle. They'll just keep making something new. They steal photos, do something. It's a waste of time. A waste of time of energy. If they want to spend all their uh, retirement years or whatever doing that, fine. I'm enjoying life. They're busy trolling. Um... So it's much better to just love and move past it, not get involved in it. In the same way, if you're on forums and there's some of these conversations, you may actually find uh, geared towards arguing or stuff. You know what? Unless it's got an impact on your life or going to have some engagement that actually is of worth, don't even bother. I mean, I, I see it quite a lot on Facebook with the Trump and all that, you know, political stuff anti this, pro that, and I just go, don't view anymore, don't view anymore, don't view. If anything, the internet, the way it's gone in recent years, is actually began to censor itself from people being able to just post whatever they feel like. Because a lot of people, like on Facebook, you can actually say, I don't want to see anything more like this anymore. I don't want to know about Trump. I'm not American, could care less. Don't want to know about North Korea. You can censor all this stuff out. But at the same time, you, you, it doesn't say don't get involved in things politically or in the real world, but a lot of that stuff has no positive bearing or you're going to have no way of changing somebody's mind or it's not even worth engaging in with comments or stuff. And the same with forums. Unless it's actually got something of value, it's just not worth bothering with. Now, now we get on to the love side. The love side is like when you, you have forums that work well, got a lot of good information, and there's some good people on it, etc. Same with YouTube channels and things like Instagram. Sometimes if somebody's in photography and stuff, then maybe some people you think are really good for advice and information, etc. Share them. Um, on the YouTube channel, liking, sharing, uh, subscribing, all benefit a channel. Commenting on the channel, like say I did an Excel video and you've understood what I've said on there but then had another problem with because of something slightly different and then I help you with it and you fix it. Going back and putting the solution saying, thanks Matt, that worked and this is what we did and putting it on the original comment would help other people that go to the video relating to what I did, but then you've added your solution to another problem. In the same way, if you find the solution and add it to it, it helps the channel as well. Because I can't always answer everybody's comments and messages. I get at least 150 a day. Um, so sometimes I'll, you'll see comment after comment after comment. It's where I've had like an hour spare sat at an airport or sat somewhere when I've just thought I'll go and catch up on comments and messages and just doing them one after the other. Um, so you doing some of that stuff actually helps me, A, because you've actually put a solution there that helps other people, but B, you've also answered your own comment, which saves me having to comment on it at all. Um, and the same goes for other channels. The other one is if you're on another channel when a subject's relevant, like say for example I'm talking about this stuff and there's another channel that's talking about something very similar like oh I keep getting trolled or um, how do I help develop my channel going oh this is an interesting video then put the link to this video actually helps my channel it also might help their channel 
because if they get engagement going backwards and forwards and a bit of conversation between the two videos, that is also very useful. And the other thing is a bit of cross-linking from my point of view as a YouTuber. Um, for example, JC from Holland has her own channel um, on Instagram and YouTube. Um, it's uh, I think it's called Leaving Holland. I'll leave the Netherlands. I'm, I can't remember off the top of my head. But the point is, I do follow JC's Instagram because there's a lot of nice photos in there. But I haven't really seen JC promote her photos. So even with that, I'm sort of saying, have a look at JC's uh, JC from Holland's uh, Instagram. There's some nice photos in there. Um, so cross mapping not only between YouTube but Instagram and other things helps develop the community. Um, and that's all good, giving a bit of love back. You know, at the end of the day, I know a lot of you guys follow the channels and stuff, and you having some engagement, although you watch the videos, it's also beneficial if you click like, do, um, uh, well, if you subscribed, also is beneficial, but also if you actually use it elsewhere, you know, put the video on Facebook, and all that stuff helps this channel, and the same as any other channel you, that you enjoy and spend your time on. All that stuff helps boost the channel up, gets it seen in more places, and that benefits all of us. Um, because obviously, the more a channel grows, the more chance there is of it having some more financial reward, which means there's more chance of being able to develop the channel with new equipment or actually making it more full time. Because at the moment, this is more of a conversational um, vent or discussion channel. But things like the channels for the Raspberry Pi, drones, and other bits and pieces, um, I haven't even started yet because I've had some internet issues here in Spain. Um, so it sort of hindered me by about two months now. But uh, the point being is, there is stuff you can do to help, and it's all beneficial. The same as if you see comments that you can actually answer for somebody. For example, where do I park at Alicante Airport on the Spanish channel? Uh, somebody can say, well, there's more multi-story car park outside, blah, blah, blah. I have no issue with that. In fact, engagement between people commenting is actually beneficial. A, I don't have to respond, but B, it also means that the engagement going on the channel is a lot more active. It's all the positive stuff, all good stuff, all loving the channel, loving forums the same way, um, Facebook groups, whatever you know, having some engagement in. I know a lot of guys and girls don't engage at all because I do get emails from people that go, I've been watching your channel for years and this is my first time I've ever messaged anything. And it's like, be a bit more open, you can do more than that. Even if you just put, oh, I like this video, whatever. It's all positive stuff, it's all good stuff. And that's it, love rather than hate. It's much more beneficial for everybody. Thanks for watching.